this burrow about four or five years ago uh, from a guy who lives on a farm about 45 minutes from where I live and uh, it's from a maple tree he said he watched it uh, form uh, over his lifetime and so uh, it's kind of kind of special it's it's pretty big I'll give you the dimensions here the burl itself is about 28 inches long and about it's 21 inches at the widest and it's mostly about 19 or so uh, and then it's also about 13 inches deep I didn't know what I was going to do with it when I first bought it and uh, I'm still not 100% sure but I do want to cut it up uh, and I think I'm going to use it for some carving projects I got a couple ideas uh, but uh, I want to uh, cut it up into several pieces I am not an expert on cutting up burls. I know that you can cut them up a couple different ways and uh, you'll get a little bit different look to the burl, but uh, I don't uh, have that kind of expertise. So I'm gonna cut it up. You're, some of you are probably gonna cringe at how I do this. Uh, I'm just gonna do it the way I want to because I'm gonna do it for carving purposes anyway. Anyway, I'm gonna debark it right now and then we're gonna start cutting it. Okay, so here is the burl with uh, most of the bark off. I couldn't get it all down below uh, because uh, there's some bark inclusions and whatnot. So now I have to decide how I'm going to cut this thing up. But look at that color. I'll probably do a Matt Cremona thing and wet it down to see what that color is. Oh, look at those reds and blacks, blues coming through. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those beautiful colors in there. Oh, my gosh. I do know that there were some ants when I first got it. So there's a hole there. And there was another one here. Uh, there's a couple more on the other side. So there's probably some voids in there where the ants got in. I was able to kill them fairly early in the process, but uh, they'll still... I'm sure they did some work in there. Right there's another one. I've got some reference lines on the top. They'll be hard to see here, but two, three, four, five, six. I'll have um, five or six pieces uh, out of that, and um, I'm just gonna slice down through.
Let's see what this looks like. Got a maple burl before, but it's just got a really a lot of figure in it. I don't I would have been hard pressed to to identify this as a burl if I was just looking at that grain. But there's obviously some spalting in there, got some bark inclusions. Um, so interesting wood nonetheless. So now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do here. So one of the things I need to consider since I'm using this for carving is the grain direction. And the pieces that I cut off on the end I'll have to uh, carve into end grain the whole time. Now I know in a burl the, the grain kind of goes every which direction, but in a general sense the grain is running this way. So I'm going to change my mind on how I'm going to cut this, and I'm actually going to cut it this way off the two ends, and then we're going to see what I've got. But I want to carve here so I can carve something in here and this side, see what I've got, and then go from there. Wow, it's a pretty cool figure in there. That spalting looks awesome. Our conclusion here. So this is what I've got left. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice it right down in here somewhere. Um, I've got a really big bark inclusion here and that I think goes all, all the way through to this side. So I don't think I'm going to get a lot of usable material for carving but I might be able to get some smaller pieces out for other projects down the road. My God, I gotta show you the grain on these last two cuts. Oh my gosh. Look at that. I'll get some water on here so you can see it a little better. Look at that grain. Oh my gosh. That is spectacular. This is that 
last piece that I'm not sure what I'm going to do with. It's got all those bark inclusions in. Uh, so I'll have to think about what I'm going to do with that. I do have some usable material in that for smaller things, but uh, not sure what I'm going to do. And on this side, this part, I can't really see now. Here, let's turn this. This is pretty plain Jane grain because this was the inside of the healthy part of the tree. And then this side, after those bark inclusions, that's where the burl was. And look at that. Wow. So here's what I've got from that big burl that I started with. I've got six pieces here. I've got uh, <laughs> some incredible grain and when I cut it kind of the lengthwise of it um, and parallel to the tree where how the tree was growing. Um, that for the at least for this one, that grain was, is spectacular. So it does make a difference which plane that you uh, cut those burls in. Again, I'm not an expert at that, um, but uh, I've had some pretty good wood to work with. These woods, even though the, the, the grain is really cool, I'm going to carve into the this side of them. Uh, probably like a wood spirit or some other figure, I'm not really sure yet. Uh, but I will do that sometime, uh, at least into one of these soon. Uh, there should be some fantastic grain that comes out of that as I'm carving. So really looking forward to working with this wood. It's hardwood, so I'm going to have to use power tools on it, which is fine. Um, but uh, yeah, that's going to be uh, very interesting, hopefully. These two pieces back here, I may cut off uh, a slice on each of those and um, make a charcuterie boards. Um, but uh, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> be working with this wood as I go along. If you've got any ideas uh, for what I uh, either should carve or make out of these, uh, let me know. And thanks for watching and see you next time.